previous years. So it means, Mr. Speaker, all those solutions who have heard the government say that the unemployment rate is at 16.1% and are puzzled because they know and they feel like it's much higher. And the reality is if we don't use, the truth is if we don't use the right numbers, we're going to adopt the wrong policies. This, this country and the people, the cost of living is killing them. And what is the most egregious part about it is that you had the ability to do something about it. You earned the money. You said you were elected to help people. Help them. Why would you allow the gas price to go past fourteen ninety five? Why would you allow cooking, glass, cooking gas to go to $22? Mr. Speaker, this is what $170 is going to buy you. That's what it's going to buy you. Toothpaste for one month, huh? <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> Cricks. Cheese. Mr. Speaker, $22. And based on the new tax that's coming in, by July 1st, that's going to be higher. So when the guy said he has to use, was it lime to put under his, under his arms? Maybe he's right. <laughs> Women, pampers, sanitation items, all of those items are going to be increasing as of July 1st. More importantly, not even more importantly, that is, that is, that is what is going to be affected. But in addition to that, Mr. Speaker, no notice to your productive sector. No advance warning that you're increasing increasing the, the tax. So everybody who has now put all their pricing out for the next year, year and a half, all their prices are going up. All the, what they're paying on liquor, what they're paying on chemicals, what they're paying on supplies. And nobody knows how the tax is being implemented. If it's being implemented at the port, that means we're paying VAT on it. So is it, is it really an increase in the service charge from 6% to 8.5%? Is that what's going on? You know, Mr. Speaker, I had to do this because the, men, the Prime Minister said he doesn't go to the grocery store. He doesn't go. I'd be happy to do that. I prefer to give you the one. You know, Mr. Speaker, there's a group of people who actually believe, who actually believe that there's a scam taking place. That the government is deliberately having a shortage of sugar. And that is forcing people to buy other sugar so the government doesn't have to subsidize it. But that's this level of cynicism that's coming in. People believe that the 12.5% the 12 that you've given on, on plywood and everything else doesn't apply to the little man. Cheese. Go ahead. Your sugar. Oil. Peanut butter. Okay. Milk. Yeah. Rice. Continue. Continue. Okay? Continue. So that's it. Now, Mr. Speaker, I want to go back for a second.